Team of the season is here, so stock up your coinage. Go to ufifa.com, use code TVM at checkout to get all your coins and FIFA points sent to you within record-breaking time. Link in the description, go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome to another episode of FIFA 17 Predicted Ratings. This is the series where we take three or four players from next season's game and have a look to see what rating we think they are going to be. Once again, as always, thank you very much to Luke for doing all of the graphics for me. His link can be found down in the description. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the first player, who is Lee Griffiths. Currently got a 73 rated card on FIFA 16. Always seemed to be one of those players who was on the cusp of something great and was tipped to be the next big thing and never really materialized. But this season, he has played very well and he does definitely deserves an upgrade. He's played a 6.73 in Scotland, which is not actually a best um, average rating to be fair, but check this out. 44 games with seven substitute appearances, 40, yeah, that's right, 40 goals, eight assists, and he's picked up man of the match eight times in all competitions. That is an absolutely phenomenal record and one of the reasons why he's been giving a team of the season. But I definitely think he deserves to be upgraded. 77 rated easily is on the cards here. 81 pace with 80 shooting. Looks like a very nice card as well. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Let's move on to the next player. Who is going to be Marcus Rashford and a very difficult one to predict because obviously he doesn't have a card currently in FIFA 16. So... With an average match rating of 7.05, 18 games played, 8 goals, 2 assists, 1 man of the match uh, award. It's I could have swore I've seen him make a substitute appearance. I might be wrong there. All those stats from all competitions, of course. Not a bad first season for Rashford to be introduced in. So, uh, Luke has given him a 73 rated card, 86 pace with 74 finishing, 75 dribbling. Now, Luke is a Manchester United fan, so there could be a little bit of biased uh, opinions coming in here, but that, again, I kind of see that he would get a 73 rated card, maybe a 72 minimum, to be fair. So, I think that's more or less right, but let me know down below what you think of Marcus Rashford and what card he should get as we move on to Fernando Torres. Now, you guys have actually requested Fernando Torres a lot, so I think it's only fair that we deliver. His average match rating is 6.82. He's played 23 games, making 19 substitute appearances, which is phenomenal. That's the most that we've had so far, definitely. He's got himself 12 goals, 5 assists, and 1 Man of the Match award. Not too bad at all. He's currently got a 79 rated card, and we can't really see EA doing much to this, to be fair. It would be harsh to downgrade him, considering he's had a decent season, but it wouldn't be justifiable to upgrade him. They could could give him an 80 rated card but based on those stats I don't really see them upgrading it I just I, I see that Fernando Torres has done enough to keep the rating that he has maybe a tweak here or there they will almost definitely downgrade the pace because he's getting older and that's just the way EA work uh, 79 shooting means he's had plus one and everything else remains the same apart from his physical which has dropped down by two points because again he's getting older and EA hate age but of course I could be wrong, you need to let me know down below what you think of Fernando Torres in, as a player and of course what card he deserves for FIFA 17. And we've come to almost the end, we've got one player left. Who is it? Drum roll, please maestro. It is another requested one and we have gone with Makatarian, the Dortmund right mid wing forward. He plays all up and down that right side. He's got an average rating of 7.87, which is extremely high, which means this guy is so consistent, it would knock your socks off. He's played 44 games this year, making four substitute appearances, scored himself 18 goals, 20, that's right, count them, 20 assists, and 13 man of the match awards in all competitions. This guy's been on fire this year, hence the reason why he's had several informs and a team of the season card, which by the way, if you haven't checked out yet, you definitely should, because that guy is incredible. But um, if anybody deserved an upgrade into FIFA 17. It is Mkhitaryan. What an absolute monster of a man. Kind of hoping he joins Liverpool uh, in the summer. Not that he's been even remotely linked, but what a player that would be in the Premier League. I don't care who he joins, to be fair. Just come to the Premier League, mate. You're you wanted. So, 85 rated is what we've gone with here, and I think that's more than justifiable. I think EA will bump him up by two. He might go to an 86, but I can't see him going any higher than that. And then we'll see how he plays through the season up until January, and then whether EA want to upgrade him to a um, January upgrade is, is obviously on there back then. But I think an 85 rated card would be very sexy as far as Makaterian's concerned. And once again, I'd love to know what you guys think down in the comment section of Makaterian as a player this season, and of course his rating in FIFA 17. If you've got any suggestions for future episodes, of these kind of series where we predict FIFA 17 player ratings then the comment section is there for a reason let us know down below if you've enjoyed this one do me a favor go on you know you want to smack that like button subscribe to the channel if you have done so thank you very much for watching and as always till the next time goodbye